Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review HBO Max's new series, Generation. And this dramedy focuses on a group of diverse high school students dealing with a wide range of different kinds of things. It's one of those kinds of shows where you have all these different characters dealing with all their different issues, but they're all intertwined because they're all friends and know each other. This is from creator Daniel Barnes. This show was split into two separate sections of eight episodes each for a 16 episode first season, which I hate. Like, for me personally, I hate when things do that. That was one of my least favorite things about network television is like they took these breaks and then it's like, when the hell is it coming back? Why replicate this on streaming? But whatever. It's not like... I understand with TV, it's like you might not be able to set like a specific time to sit down and watch it during, say, like the holidays or something. But like streaming, you just watch it whenever. But I rest my case. But specifically for this, I wrapped up the 16 episodes of part one and part two. Obviously, part one I watched a little while ago and part two has been coming out the past, I think, four weeks. It dropped in like three episodes, two, two, one. Also another thing that I hate about HBO Max, but I won't get into that. But focusing on this show from Daniel Barnes, we have this group of kids all dealing with different issues, different perspectives, and I think that's the biggest thing going for the show is because it's such a wide range of characters and such a wide variety of people that it makes it interesting. There's a little bit for everybody. It's also a lot. There's a lot of characters to follow. There's a lot of storylines to follow. So honestly, it could get a little overwhelming. They do balance things because it seems like each episode has more of a focus on a particular character and less of like everybody getting like big arcs every episode and you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. There's a variety of themes and ideas that they look at, whether it's one big one throughout the first half of this season was teenage pregnancy. There's dealing with, uh, especially in the second half of the season, which is fresher for me since I've been watching it, dealing with like polyamorous relationships and fracturing of friendships and lack of communication, um, coming out to your parents, dealing with being gay and trying to find the right match and trying to find somebody that understands you just in general in love and then there's this one particular love triangle going on between three of the young women in the show and dealing with obviously homosexuality in a lot of different ways but also asexuality and there's a lot of things going on in this show that I really appreciate about the show that it shines a light on these things especially some of those other things that the asexuality one really grabbed my attention um, but it has such a wide range of different kinds of ideas and topics that it tries to cover, and it does it in, I think, a way that makes it very relatable and connectable, and you have this high-energy direction of the show. There's definitely style that goes into this. It's not quite euphoria, but, like, it's getting along those lines, and obviously I think this came out of, like, Euphoria was a thing. It's like, then we get Generation, and it kind of feels like it was influenced and became a thing because Euphoria kind of opened that up. Sometimes things could be really on the nose with some of the dialogue. I know there's one particular character, um, it's uh, one of the mothers, and it's Martha Plimpton who plays her, who was in the Goonies and Parenthood, and she can be really stereotypical, but also she can be so interesting in this show. And her dynamic with her son, who's gay, comes out to her, fakes a relationship. That's Nathan, played by Oli Schleisinger. Um, honestly, the biggest standout in this show is Justice Smith. He is the biggest character. He has the biggest presence. But he also has tons of range in this show, and I really like that. Um, but there's a whole lot of great characters and 
Honestly, one of the one one of the storylines that really grabbed my attention this season was the love triangle going on with like Haley Sanchez's character and uh, Chase Sui Wonders and one of the other girls. I felt like that was there's a lot of emotion there and a lot of connection. But this show has a lot going for it. And I appreciate the representation, the bold direction, and it kind of feels like a cool show, but it's trying to do a lot, and sometimes the things don't always hit, sometimes it doesn't feel like it gets enough time, but in these 16 episodes, they cover a lot of ground, and in general, I enjoyed this show a lot, and I would definitely recommend this to anybody, especially if you're like a younger person and you're in these kinds of situations where it's like, this could be really relatable to you. So, this is a win, I think, for HBO Max. But those are my thoughts on Generation Season 1. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.